hello everyone welcome to our channel in this video i'm going to explain about the sugar tablet names and how it works whenever there is increase in the blood sugar levels we call this condition as diabetes so whenever we eat food the carbohydrates which are present in the food will break down into glucose and when there are increased in blood glucose levels the pancreas will release an hormone called insulin this insulin helps to reduce the blood glucose levels so insulin works by decreasing the blood glucose levels but in certain conditions the insulin doesn't work properly which leads to increase in blood sugar levels we call this condition as diabetes there are two types of diabetes type 1 diabetes type 2 diabetes type 1 diabetes is usually seen in children and also people less than 30 years of age in type 1 diabetes there is no insulin production so usually in type 1 diabetes the treatment is given by giving artificial insulin and it is very rare 10 to 20 percent very few people will get this type 1 diabetes type 2 diabetes is more common it is seen in adults greater than 40 years of age in type 2 diabetes though there is adequate insulin production the insulin doesn't work effectively so people with type 2 diabetes treatment is by giving oral hypoglycemic tablets but in certain conditions if there is high or increased uncontrolled sugar levels along with tablets doctors may suggest insulin the tablets which reduce the blood glucose levels we call them as oral hypoglycemic drugs there are various types of hypoglycemic tablets some tablets may are insulin secretagogues which improves the insulin production some are insulin sensitizers which increases the efficacy of insulin some tablets delays the carbohydrate absorption and there are certain newer drugs coming to the sulfonylureas sulfonylureas include glamepramide glyposate glyban clamide tolbutamide etc they improve the insulin production so it ultimately reduces the blood glucose levels side effects are rare but in certain conditions there will be sudden fall in blood glucose levels hypoglycemia is seen and there are problem of weight gain also who should avoid taking sulfonylureas pregnancy breastfeeding mothers liver problem kidney problem these persons should avoid taking sulfonylureas and other category is meglitinide analogs it includes repaglinide naglinide etc these category also improves the insulin production so ultimately they decrease in the blood glucose levels it acts as same as sulfonylureas but in this meglitinide analogs they have rapid onset and shorter duration of action and there is also lower risk of hypoglycemia next comes the biguanates biguanates include the metformin metformin is the most commonly used medicine it is available as 500 milligrams 2000 milligrams etc metformin improves the active action of insulin so it reduces the blood glucose levels side effects are rare but in certain conditions there will be gastrointestinal upset lactic acidosis and people who use metformin for longer duration long term use it may also lead to vitamin b12 deficiency next comes the thiazolidone diodes which includes rosiglitazone pioglitazone etc these thiazolidone diodes improves the action of insulin thereby reducing the blood glucose levels side effects are rare but in certain conditions there may be chances of weight gain fluid retention peripheral edema headache etc and next other category is alpha glucosidase inhibitors it includes acarbose meglitol etc it acts or works at the intestine and it reduces the carbohydrate breakdown so as it reduces the carbohydrate breakdown there is decreased glucose absorption thereby reducing the blood glucose levels side effects are rare but if there are side effects it side effects are seen in the intestine so there are chances of flatulence bloating loose stools etc contraindications people with irritable bowel syndrome they should avoid taking this alpha glucoside inhibitors recently there are certain medicines have been introduced into the market like gliptin drugs vilagliptin sitagliptin saxagliptin linagliptin etc these recent medicines also improves the insulin secretion thereby reducing the blood glucose levels this is all about the sugar tablets and how it works hope you like the video if you like the video please share and subscribe our channel thank you